Welcome back everyone. Uh, so today, right now I'm in Jefferson, Iowa. Uh, there is a kind of like a bicycle park that I've stayed at before uh, uh, with a group of riders and it's uh, $10 a night. Uh, the shower house is pretty nice. So I believe I'm in Greene County and I want to take all gravel roads. It is currently raining out and uh, I think it's about 18 miles or so. I do not know how this trip's gonna work. Um, I'm kind of filled with self-fear, uh, self-doubt, fear. Is this worth it? Uh, what am I doing? It's raining. Should I be at home on the couch in my comfort zone uh, with my dog? Or should I be out here riding in the rain? Uh, I don't know, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm right here. I'm gonna get on the bike and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I won't be doing the kind of the action shots to where like I set up the tripod and I, I ride for a little bit and then I come back and get it. Uh, that it's, it's a lot of work and it's raining and I don't want to mess with it. I'm going to show you the bike real quick. So I've made some changes. All I did was take, well, I took the, the water rack, I, I took the, the rack off my road bike and put it on this. I have four bottles. These two are filled with Gatorade. And those two are water, and then I have salt packets. So, uh, I think I'm ready. Get this rail turned into a trail. Oh, they weren't lying. Rough crossing. So even though it's sprinkling out and I have this orange coat on, it's like 79 degrees or something, maybe maybe even less, maybe 78, 77, I'll check. Maybe I won't, I don't know. But this is much, 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 much more comfortable than 93 degrees. Much more comfortable. So, I'm happy that I have four bottles of water with me. I'm gonna take a salt tab right now. I'm gonna try to do that every 15 minutes or so. And on previous rides, those have helped out a lot. So we'll see how it goes. Look at this little place. It says Country Blessings. I'm assuming it says Antiques. There's a welcome sign on the door. Pretty cool. Just out in the middle of the gravel roads. Pretty cool. We're gonna keep going. So I just had to stop and adjust and take that, uh, 
take the rain gear off and the, the things that were on my feet, like these rain galoshes. Um, I don't know if gravel, like these roads are sand. I don't know if, if it's the same thing. This look just looks like sand. It's really slowing me down, so I gotta keep moving. And then there's a golf course out in the middle of nowhere. Sweet. Definitely not thrilled about this shoulder here. Looks like cars are zooming by. I'm gonna put my lights on, but I can ride on this when, I, when there's a car behind me. We'll see how it goes. Just got done with the hill. Add a salt tab, add some electrolytes. It's time for another hill. I've been waving to all the cars as they go by. Most of them have been nice and waved back. Um, uh, the car traffic on this highway that I was afraid it's very 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 minimal the people that have passed me I've been on the far far right of the lane and they were on the left so no real big there no real big deal there so all is well I want to check my mileage I don't know if you can see them but there's a ton of windmills. A ton of them. This is the place we're going, the town. It's almost time to eat. Starving. Just starving. This is a cool little town. I don't know if that like building got torn down and they just kept that. That is cool. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto South Main Street. Lauren Shriver Community Center. I guess she's an astronaut that lived here in the class of 1962. Neat little small town. Yep. I made it to the restaurant. It is super busy in here. I mean, the, the, there's nothing going on outside in the town. And then you walk into the restaurant and you're like in a different planet. Uh, I've never experienced anything like it. Uh, tons of people here. I'm sure they're looking at me right now.
So help me out here. I'm super hungry. I have a long way to get home. So I have my little bag here to take some with. I definitely probably want an appetizer and something big. What do you suggest? Um, our onion rings are absolutely amazing and it's a huge order too. Okay. And I think I just seen someone order it. Yep, there's some on that table. Okay. And do you have like foil in the back? Yeah. In case if I have to wrap it up. Okay. Because usually we just bring up little boxes, but you can. Okay, and I have some foil with me. So why don't I start with that? You want the rings? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what else, or do you just want to put in the rings for right now? Um, how big is this brisket sandwich? It's a pretty good size. It's not like a monster sandwich, but... Okay. Our breaded pork is pretty big. Um, triple threat split sandwich. I will do, uh, I will do the breaded pork. Breaded pork? Yep. And then for a side. You have french fries, Jojo's, garden salad, pasta salad. What's a Jojo? They are potato wedges, they may fry it, and then toss them like a dry ranch. Okay, because I've done the onion rings, I'll probably do the pasta salad. Pasta salad? Yeah, yeah. But that sounds delicious. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll take uh, pictures of it later, but it's super nice in here. It's super clean. Um, I don't, obviously, we haven't had the food yet. Uh, the Coke, the Pepsi is delicious, uh, but it's it's literally just like a sports bar. I'm gonna have to slow down on those those onion rings and just wait for the food to come. But the outside's a little bit crispier than I think that I'd like it to be, but it's still delicious. They're pretty crunchy. So good. This thing is huge. It's a little bit uh, darker in color than I'd like. How does it look? It looks huge. I told you, I gave you the biggest things on the menu. <laughs> Jeepers. If you would have got the JoJo's, you would have needed like two plates. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to try to do this. Mm. It is crispy on the outside, but nice and soft in the middle. No gristle. And the Pepsi is delicious. I'm gonna need another Pepsi in about 30 seconds. She wasn't listening.
the pasta salad. It's probably the best thing here. Mmm. Mmm. The pasta salad was really good. So I hit the sandwich pretty hard so far. I need to slow down, which I probably won't do. The long, the, the way home is probably just gonna be grueling. Uh, I've already decided I probably will not take any back roads home. Uh, that sand, it's not like gravel here, it's, it's sand. And my bike wasn't sinking in it, but it was just tough, it was tough. But I need to get through the potato salad. I don't think you can see that. Maybe you can. I need to get through the potato salad because I can't take that with me. The rest I can take. So far, I would recommend everything. Obviously, with the onion rings, you need a, a group of people. Uh, the tenderloin is good. Uh, if you're hungry enough, I think it'll, anybody could take it down. The pasta salad's the best thing, though. Far and away, I don't know what they're doing. If it's just drowned in mayo. But it's delicious. That's just the onion rings. I clearly don't have enough room. believe it if the population was 238 but um, I mean there is nobody here in town and but if there is 238 people that live in this town they were all eating at that restaurant uh, I didn't get pictures of the inside there was tons and tons of people uh, it was just a sports bar on the inside so pick any sports bar and it, it's the same thing so uh, there was just tables and chairs and TVs with sports on it dark and there was nothing on the walls or anything like that um, to speak of uh, but uh, I got everything packed up in my bag and it's time to head home we'll see how this works out So just putting in some highway miles on my mountain bike. Nobody here. No bugs. It's like 75 degrees. It's pretty wonderful. I got onion ring belly, got pork tenderloin belly, Pepsi belly. 
uh, it's pretty wonderful. It'll probably be about 9 p.m. before I get back. Um, I think I might go home. I brought my camping gear. It'd be $10 to sleep here. And I had something I want to do tomorrow. Uh, do another county. Do a two-dayer. Um, I'm equipped to do it. But I don't know if I have the tenacity to do it right now. I would kind of rather go home and get my dog. Go get baby fat. And maybe just sleep in my own bed. There'll be enough camping coming up with rag bry that maybe I shouldn't overdo it now, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just chickening out right now and making excuses. I don't know, post in chat. Post down in the comments. Will I get enough on rag bry that I don't need to overdo it before I go? Or am I just being a wuss? Okay, I'll be back in a bit. So I just got back to my truck. Um, there was about three feet of shoulder uh, on the highways, uh, on the main highway, Highway 30. And everybody even, I was on the three feet of shoulder, everybody even moved into the opposite lane and I tried to say I'm thank you, even though they couldn't hear me, uh, to every single car who moved over into the opposite lane. So it was just, like it wasn't even close. Um, there are some good people out there and I, I saw a lot of them. I waved to a lot of people. I'm really happy about that. There's uh, some great people still left in this world. Thank you for looking out for your cyclists. Thank you very much. Uh, the food was good. I'm not too heavy. Uh, I ate a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to camp here. Uh, it's still early. I don't have any firewood. I could probably go get some, but I don't want to pay for it. Um, uh, I'm about to throw this mountain bike in the trash. Um, it's a good bike. It still works. Everything's fine. Uh, it is so heavy. It is so heavy. It is so heavy. Uh, most, uh, even if I took all the gear off, right? Like Kyle, you don't need to carry this. You don't need to bring this. This is too much. You have too much water. You have too many tools. You have too much battery chargers, food, candies, whatever. Even if I stripped it down, it's still too heavy. So, um, I might just bring my road bike back. Uh, you know, I was afraid about getting hit by a car, but I've been riding on the highways with this, and it, it's, I could be on the road bike much more comfortable and do, uh, you know, get to where I need to faster. Uh, so, l lessons are being learned right now. I'm not going to call this a fail about not camping. Um, but I I'm glad I got the video done. I'm glad I went to, I got it off the, I, I, I did it. And uh, Ragbri is uh, in seven days, so I'm going to take uh, two days off. Um, and uh, maybe start again on Monday. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. We're in